we have always had microfilm access to our local paper going back literally to when the paper started in like 1892, 1893. And that's been here at the library for people to access, but it was not indexed. It's not very easily searchable unless you have an exact date that you're looking at. And it's just not very user friendly, especially for people who may or may not be local to the area doing out of town research. It would be who would want access to it that way. So we knew for a while we either wanted to get the microfilm digitized or see when we heard about the historical archive, like look into purchasing that. So it was just a way to make access much easier for our patrons. There's been so much patron goodwill around this. They really appreciate having the service. We appreciate having it for our own research requests where if somebody just wants us to do it for them, it is so much easier for us just to be able to go in there and search this database rather than it was like digging through like the two sections of indexing that we had for our microfilm and trying to figure out if it's even there at all. We still do have the microfilm, of course, as a backup, just in case somebody really does prefer using it that way. But we have all started defaulting to using the historical archive now for our searching. I find it very uh, user-friendly, easy to search, easy to browse. Uh, if you have any ways, you know, if you've been looking into finding grants or talking to your friends, your charitable foundation or whatever, if this is something you can get them interested in, I highly think it's worth doing.